So we're back from Crypto Talk, Crypto Watch. We're just starting, we're just gonna do a show. Um, it's been a while, so Rick Rock's joining me on the blockchain line. What's up, sir? What's happening, got a vision? How you been? How you be like? Oh, you know, it's been a while. Um, not too active on the crypto side of things, but we have been keep, keeping up with the news. I listen to some podcasts and read some news here and there almost every day and yeah like we know the market's low but the the tokens the, the companies that have created all these um you know small networks and small blockchains are they're still moving forward from what i see everything's still going strong even though the prices in the market or or maybe the news doesn't reflect all of that but from what i can see all the networks and blockchains we were talking about, blockchains that we were talking about last year, they're still going strong this year, and they've grown a bit. Um, I don't know what your opinion is on that, but what do you what do you think about that, Mr. Sir Rick Rock? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, well, let's let's look at the the, the market now. Uh, um, you know, since we've been doing these shows, the volume has gone. You know, and reality has gone down. So, so the volume is not there. Let's look at that. But in respect of the of the, the technology, that's another thing. Uh, um, if we're going to discuss regarding technology, I think we have the Lightning Network that is going to, you know, accept payments really that fast. Mm -hmm. We have E N E E N J, which is blew up a couple of you know a couple of weeks ago. I think went up around I think over three hundred percent. I think in a day or a day and a half. Uh, um, and, and ENJ is the blockchain that is going to hold your key on uh, the new Samsung 10 uh, um, galaxies. Is that, uh, it's pretty cool. Does that have to do with the, I guess, the, the node capability of the of smartphones? Correct. It's a smartphone that's going to hold your key and it has it's a wallet. Um, so it's pretty cool. And so that, that coin skyrocket. So in respect of the fundamentals of the technology, yeah, it, 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 we're, we're going, you know, there's, there's, there's companies that you know that are strong and building this technology that I think might might change things. But and then but then you have the financial side, the money side, where you have the whales shifting the the market left and right, left and right. Uh, you know, there's, I think there's two different uh, uh, views. It depends what you're looking at. Are you looking at the tech technical views, which is the technology, or you're looking at the the, the market financially as an investment? Uh, and then again, uh, you got to find out who you are short term or long term but in respect of the technology yeah uh, I think it's looking strong uh, uh, at the moment but remember there's there's a lot of uh, companies out there just like any business out there there's, there's companies that are not uh, so good uh, or, or maybe I'm not a great company and then you there's one your strong company is the one we talk about as well now on the well part of thing can you elaborate and talk about are there two sides to the whale um, as far as when they manipulate so to speak the the market or, or are they on the same side they're driving prices down and maybe a small spike here and there um, it, are there two sides to that or, or is it pretty much one-sided and we're just all kind of waiting to see what what happens in the near future yeah, it was funny. I, was, I was reading an article before we got on the phone um, but I didn't get to finish it but it was, it was, it was something in respect of that. You have big whales, medium whales, and wannabe whales. Uh, um, let's look at the market cap. You have $140 billion now. And I you know, you say some, you know, a couple of the huge investors that, you know, come up with a couple of billion dollars, yeah, they could create a way to go up or down uh, uh, either way. Um, for example, the other day I, I was in a, in, in five different coins, you know, and you know, I had my little, my stop loss to maybe lose two percent, maybe three percent, and next thing you know, you have the whales that drop the price five percent in a matter of a while, where it recoups it and it brings it back up. So you know, they're trying to shake people's hands 
and try to get them out of the market to sell at a cheaper price um, so they can load up because they maybe understand that this is my boom later on because technology is already rolling in into, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the blockchain is already rolling into technology. And then uh, again, we're not, we're not uh, catering to um, individuals that are older in the 40s or 50 years old. They're going to be catering to the younger generation, which is uh, the 18 year old, 19 year olds, 20, you know, the young 30. Now, uh, really quick, is the young generation still upbeat and, uh, I don't know how to say it, enthusiastic about crypto and in the future is it's not like uh how it boomed and you know it was a almost it, people can say now it was just a fad even though we know it, it wasn't there was a, a big hysteria going on you know like a year and a half ago but is it still big among that you know millennial crowd or, or whatever you want to say or has that also maybe lost some enthusiasm because just real quick um back to the part where about the you know trying to get the whales trying to get others out of the market that is that also go back and it's kind of like two questions it goes back to the early adopter mentality to where they rather have just the true crypto enthusiasts in the market who really i guess put in the time and have kind of grown with what bitcoin and, and all the tokens have become and they kind of didn't like the whole fad, even though the money was there. They kind of didn't like all the the mainstream approach to it. If you know what I'm saying, so I'll let you answer that. Both of those, whenever, however you want. But, but, but I think any business like that is going to go through its rough, rough period. Um, like they say, it's always going to get tougher before it gets better. Uh, it all depends what, what part of the market are you in, how early we are in the stages. Uh, and respect of catering to the younger crowd. Um, the thing about the kids, the kids are, are buying a phone every year uh, just for a camera. And now, now uh, you add uh, the new phones that are basically charging another phone uh, and charging AirPods or, or earbuds or whatever, you know, wireless um, earbuds and stuff like that. And then now you have a wallet rolled in into your your uh, your phone, which if you really think about it, um, United States is basically the ones that are are behind. If you look at different countries, they're using their phones to basically pay for stuff. We still use plastic and cash. Uh, to be and fair, it's only, it's only for us to catch up already. But I think in respect of the technology that's going to be adopted to the phones. Yeah. So it'll be a lot easier, right? Like, so they're going to say, hey, this phone already has a wallet, and it'll be a lot easier to say, hey, let me just get into into the market and see what I can buy, what kind of tokens I want, and just keep them in here. It's, it's a lot more convenient, right? Because I think that's a lot of what um, is still kind of a, a drawback is a lot of people don't know about the exchanges and how to buy and how to get in, if they're even slightly interested in that. I guess the the phone part, the smartphone part, which HTC yeah. HTC re, uh, started that right it, um, last year. Their their newer phone, I forgot what it was called. I, I know we had we talked about it and we had a small article on it. Um, they were they were actually adding uh, that node capability of smartphones on the blockchain, right? And, and I think that's going to it's going to happen. It's going to be because rolled into technology. It isn't that. Are they going to be interested in um, looking into it? I think instead of them falling, you know, diving into the rabbit hole, the rabbit hole is going to be <laughs> going to be brought to them because it's going to be in the technology that they're going to be using. Yeah. So you're going to, they're going to get used to all that. Um, and again, we're we, we don't know. We're just at the beginning stages uh, uh, of the market. But again, we we can go back from history when they thought and the email was not going to work. They thought regular mail was going to work. You know, we can go back to different type of, of yeah. errors of different type of trial and errors of, of, or maybe uh, maybe that was always a market that created always the flex you know yeah. you, you never know um, like, like today you know you have an article coming out uh, uh, the, the Dow's down um, you have alerts for recession uh, coming in already um, you 
you know, that's gonna create a, even more fud. You have Jamie Dimon saying that recession is not, it, it's not viable, it's not gonna probably happen. So who, who do you believe? Yeah. You know, and the person that, that's giving it, that has credibility and, and, and telling you X amount, of, X amount of reason why, or do you, do you follow the switch, the signals that are giving you saying, hey, you're redlining, dude. It's, it's probably gonna, you know, fall. Um, and at the end of the day, it's a matter of opinion. That's why anyone, anytime we talk to anybody, again, we're not a financial advisor. We, we just basically, uh, it's a matter of opinion. Uh, at, the end, at the end of the day, do your own research. Um, we're just not having a conversation. We're, at the hobby. we're having fun with it. Um, but again, uh, do your own research. We just want to talk about it and make fun. <laughs> make fun of something. I guess I, leading to that, uh, I got a quick question on uh, Mr. Jimmy Diamond. So the CEO himself, right, of uh, JP Morgan Chase, he is kind of iffy. I don't know what to think. I mean, it sounds like he's still not all in on crypto and Bitcoin. But at the same time, we have a JP Morgan coin, don't we? <laughs> it's a stable coin. It's a stable coin? What, what was it called again? I, I don't remember right now. Yes, uh, I believe it is called JP Morgan coin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, first first major major bank that's rolling out a coin quality stable. Oh, okay, uh, so it's a stable. Okay. That later on, but um, but yeah, uh, uh, he's probably well. It's like saying you're you're halfway in, you're halfway out. You know, you, you in in respect of business, he's a smart man. Uh, Jimmy, that might be a smart man, good business man. Um, there's a difference between personally liking something. But he's smart enough to most likely invest in it or look into it, mm -hmm. where they can make the portfolio company grow for investors. So, what? so yeah, mm -hmm. the, the reaction of a personal feeling might have might have <laughs> came out a couple a year or two years ago. But, but in respect of making decision of something that is going to make the business grow, um, then then um, I think he might end up pulling the trigger. So what's what's the purpose? What's the purpose of the of the token or the coin? I can see it's stable, so you can kind of like convert it to dollars and and that sort of thing. But what what would be the the I guess the advantage of that of having that coin? What it's it's for some it's specific reason, right? That this this coin is in use for, right? Well, it, it, you know how you have uh, XRP, the different banks are trying to use it to make payments and all that. Well, okay. That, that's the thread now for XRP. What XRP was trying to do is trying to do is going to banks uh, uh, to make payments and transactions. And transactions. Um, then I that then I end up taking over that part. Um, you also have um, Stellar, which news a couple of days ago with IBM. They already set up their payment system going on. Uh, um, so in respect to when you're talking about you know the, the technology and all that. Yeah, it, it's pretty strong. If you look at JP Morgan coin, you got together with IBM already blowing up. You got like a network, you got Tron, you know, with the BTT. Uh, yeah. You got a lot of main maintenance coming out. Um, so, so yeah, it, it's a lot of, you know. That That's another topic I want to catch guess, up I guess, on. I guess they went to buy cheap. I guess they went to buy cheap. Yeah, well, being stable, it's it's not being a stable coin is never really going to go much higher, much lower, but I guess it, it at least it gets them in the game, right? So yeah. let's go to let's go to Tron real quick, um, man. I, I've really been wanting to talk about that BTT coin and the airdrops that that happened. I mean, I wish I had more Tron um, to be, you know, not not everybody knows. I don't have Tron, but if I did, man, you would would have came up. Is is it been one or two airdrops already for that BTT token? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it might have been. Might have been. You know what? Don't even quote me him. I think it might have been one. There's another one coming at the end of the month. There's a more information at the end of the month. Yeah, it, you're it, right. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. It's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, um, Man, there's I, a matinee calendar that we can follow. Uh, some people I started diving into to get our information, uh, um, what companies are doing, uh, and so on. Um, and also helps, you know, gain, gain some gains <laughs> for the week when you have information that are going to roll out, you know. By yeah. the rumor selling you, correct? On that same on the same token, um, talking about Tron and games, uh, have you dived into much of the D apps or DApps that are that are part of uh, a few blockchains, mainly EOS, Tron, and, and Ethereum? No, no. So, yet. oh yeah, so the D apps are the decentralized apps. So 
this is like you know everything's open source and these are running at least you have the capability of running decentralized applications on these blockchains mainly right now the two big ones are EOS and Tron and of course they both forked out of Ethereum's um, you know main blockchain and they, they went on their own but um, so they're steadily growing and that's kind of what I mean why these companies are still pushing forward because Justin Sun the CEO of, of Tron he's been very active at especially uh, as releasing statements and, and, and mo lately because of, of BitTorrent and uTorrent, right? And yeah. how they just keep growing. They, they keep adding companies to work on their blockchain to create more dApps. And, you know, that allows um, uh, gamers and any sort of application, big or small, whatever it is, everything's still infant, right? Still starting. But um, I was reading and listening to uh, another news channel and uh it looks like eos has overtaken that whole uh they're like the number one leader in in that aspect and in, in decentralized apps and having many companies um build on their blockchain um but yeah like i want to say like justin sun this guy is really active like lately he's he's actively talking about the mainnet always posting um well i guess on his uh on any other blockchain, any other crypto websites that we follow, always posting the, what's going on with Tron, and BitTorrent, like the the BT, what is it, BitTorrent token, BTT? Yeah, yeah. Well, he has, he has good advertising advertising skills. That's basically what it is. And that's what he was getting knocked for. Yeah. He's always in front of you. He is always updating, and that's always that's always what customers want. Um, um, and which is called, you know, let's dangle the carrot in front of us. You know, and that's basically what it is. And uh, and that's all the that's all the base of the coins that start getting pumped there as well. And, and think about it, he, he, a couple of what is it like? A couple of days ago, he was he had like already one million followers on Twitter. Jeez. So uh, yeah, uh, that, that's, a, that's a huge. So you hey, look at the community oh. now. You got uh, Justin. Yeah, yeah. Million followers, um, oh man, he, he uh, he's active on LinkedIn too. You, yeah. If you looked up crypto any time for any reason, Justin Sun is like the number one post yeah. poster or whatever of uh, what's yeah. going on with his company, which is good. He's an he's an active CEO. And they have a new crypto magazine too. Uh, you, oh, they do. He was in front of the cover. What? Um, so then, so then you have the communities. You got the Bitcoin. You have the Lightning Network. You have the the XRP Army. You have the Tron guys. You have the Vet community. Um, uh, the EOS, uh, EOS. But then you have uh, Tezos. If you want to look at uh, Tezos, that um, might take down EOS. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool crypto death matches out there. Uh, you have another coins. Why to take out other coins? It's pretty interesting. And they're trying to take each other down. <laughs> I just, I just oh. picture it that way. <laughs> oh. I just picture it that Damn. way. Damn. Oh, uh, I just found uh, the news on that on that airdrop. It was 5,000 BitTorrent tokens that were um, handed out to users. Man, that's that's right now is not much, but it's it's kind of like free money. You got Tron, you get, here you go, here you get, you get some extra tokens. Airdrops it's, it's are like great. Own, it's, yeah, it's like when you own that. Uh, a V chain, and you get you get Vitor, and Vitor is, is already getting. It looks like it's gonna get listed on Binance, and you get exchanges. Uh, that's another thing. That, and like Neo produces gas, and uh, and those are coins that if we start looking into them, and again, uh, do your own research. Again, this is no financial advice or anything like that. But if you look at coins like that, uh, it produces these other small coins that you could give you a small stream of passive income uh, because it produces money. Uh, that was, I think, the whole concept behind it. So you have Neo that produces gas. You have VeChain that produces Vitor, uh, um, and you can you can kind of look at it as Tron does the same thing with BTT. Um, and, and then you you know you're not even you know we're not even talking about BNB with Binance there. And you have the you have the whole uh, uh, Asian connection. No offense to any Asians out there, but you have the the whole Justin Sun and uh, CZ, you know, and uh, from Binance. And so you have BNB, Tron, and BTT. Uh, we always know this. They're always kind of pumping each other up. Um, which, you know, if you look at the market since December mm -hmm. all the way to now, it's probably gone up already maybe over 100%, 150%. So if you, t if you think about it, 
if you look at, oh, we're in a bear market, yeah, but people are still making over 100% per coin. You know, it, it, it's just been, it, the market has been going down, getting shorted, but I respect the traders making money and, and, and whales making money. Yeah, and if you look at from December 2024 20, to now, uh, people have been making lots of money. Uh, 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 um, and that's when you look at, are you the holder or are you the long-term investor? So if you're, I'm sorry, if you're either, which is the same thing, are you the short-term investor or the, or the, the, the person that's holding the coin? Um, if you're going to be holding the coin, you have to go through these pain. You are going to lose 80%. Uh, if you're going to go ahead and be a short-term and just hand over a hot potato to someone else, then you're probably getting, making more, you know, make games a lot faster. Um, but, but then we're going back to that pattern we spoke about last show. You know, we're right now we're at the pattern back of 2004, 2015. It went down 80%, 90%. And, and, and we're looking, if we're talking about the market, no, if we look at the pattern of the market right now, you can see it drop already what 85%. So, so based on, on patterns, if you believe on people not just sequences or vortex math or, 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 or anything like that, then you can look at what mother market might end up doing. It, it's basically, Right now we're we're on the edge of Bitcoin. If we lose right now the price, if we can't go up past forty two hundred bucks, then if we keep stopping there, then we might look at dropping back to thirty five hundred. If we can't hold that price at thirty five hundred, then we're looking at dropping around twenty eight hundred. If we can pump up the price over forty two hundred because there's there's certain stages of resistance support. So we pass over the forty two hundred, then we're probably shifting all the way back to five thousand to six thousand dollars. Which if you look at today, like today's news, you have a person from Bitmex, uh, with it, Bitmex come out, which is the CEO coming out that's saying Bitcoin is going to be worth ten thousand dollars by the end of the year. So, do we see a lot of signs right now of the market being bullish based on tech on analysis? I, I kind of see both ways, and that's the problem with it. They're holding the price in the middle and making it go, but uh, jumping up and down. So right now we're at a crucial stage. Right now they're going up or down which I think in the next couple of, a week or two, we're gonna see if we're gonna either start moving upward um, or going back to 35, maybe 2,800 range. Pretty interesting what the market is doing right now. Yeah, and I got a lot more questions that I can ask and more things to delve into, um, but uh, in order just to keep this not so long, we're already going over 20 minutes. And um, I, I think we're going to save that for next time. We, I, I could think of a lot more things right now. Once we get started, it's, it's right easy to keep going for an hour or two. But Yeah, right, right now, it, it's a, sorry, I start, uh, I'm right on right now, but, but it is. It, it's like the, like, I know you want to keep it short, but I know uh, uh, we're crucial right now. I know a lot of people do well, the market's dropping and they're losing interest. Uh, I think it's going to gain a lot of interest once the, once the Dow and SP 500 um, start basically start going down, um, that money is going to get shifted somewhere else. Um, you're going to see a lot of, maybe a lot of companies start, uh, you know, fading away. A lot of ICOs start fading away, where that money is going to get shifted to the, you know, bigger, major coins, you know, and, and now you're going to see that uh, market start going up. Uh, but again, uh, do your own research. Um, it's been fun uh, the last uh, year, you could say, year and a half. Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely do your own research <laughs> and see what you think. <laughs> don't take, don't take it because it's, it's it's a crazy market and it can go either way. But yeah, it can go either way. And all right. If you believe it, so don't 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 invest what you can't lose and and do your own research and and if you believe what you're what you're investing in, then then so be it. And that's it. All right, so Rick Rock, I think that'll do it for the time. Um, I don't know what episode we're approaching, but uh, I'll, I'll put this on later. <laughs> um, we'll see you on the next one. And how, how's your uh, how's your investment going? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it, 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 it's uh, depending on uh, how many percentage you want to get. Nah, no, nah. just a general question. We don't have to get into detail. All right, homies. This is Crypto Talk by Crypto Watch. Want to say any parting words? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. This is uh, Crypto Watch. Crypto Watch is so Rick Ross by Crypto News, Crypto Junkies. Catch you next time. All right. Peace.